Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stray for probably the final episode. I think I know the series pretty well with just 30 minute videos, because normally I do what? Hour, two hour, maybe even three. But usually like around an hour or two hours for most of the things lately. But yeah, I like doing these 30 minute videos. They're short, they're, well, not exactly short, but you know thing is, most people who did Stray did it like, what, even in a full setting, which was like around three hours or so, which, by the way, let me just do a summary of things, you know. That's, see, that's an hour and 37. That's... Come on. But... That's two hours, though. So that's alright. <laughs> that's already over the time most people got through the game. Then we add in another hour. Another hour. Another hour. So basically, it's taking us... I think it's probably around seven to eight hours to get through Stray, and most people got through it in like three or four. But not, most people didn't, you know, spend a two hour long video just trying to figure out collectibles. Because most people didn't give a shit about the collectibles. Because most YouTubers are terrible. So anyway, back to the subway. Yeah, well, that's a fan that was very enjoyable. Glad we did. Glad we could record that. And yes, the cat is driving a subway train. That is indeed what's happening. controls. Oh. Hi. <coughs> Hello. How may I help you? I don't know. I don't know. Enjoy the world's safer city. Walled city, not yet. Oh, it's nice and clean up here. Mostly. Only one problem, though. Those rails would be electrified, and you wouldn't be able to. S you shouldn't be able to stand on them like that. Pretty sure. I can't have soda. Energy drink. Energy drink 2K something. Okay, so that was one more memory, and it's story related, so you don't have to been forever looking for it, but that looks like probably uphill. Question mark, maybe uphill anyway. But it's nice and bright out, you know. Thing is, we have just a bunch of <coughs> beans and have it a wall, not City 99. Very <coughs> dim robots going to paint this area. Please go off the way to paint. Have a nice day. Very dead inside robots. Do 
Please examine the wall, not to say 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked. You need to confine it. Please be prepared to any. Certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Well, I want this door opened. Filing results. Doors of confinement. We don't have a prison sense. Well, I just broke out, so what are they going to do? Put me back in? Hello, the stairs been sealed for your safety. Please be to right. Yeah, they seem very... Well, there's a control room. But what's this other way, you know? I, I can see the surface up here, too. It's very sealed. Now my current task is clean the window. Okay. Hello, how may I help you? I don't know. You guys seem very... Yeah. Compared to everyone else. I can't F that. I need to be able to F that. Says that only humans are authorized to enter. Says that only considered human. Hey, that's offensive. Security protocol. Hey, if we want to go, we can open this passage. Yeah, humans. The problem though is there's no humans left, technically. So, how do I, when you access that, how do I access, oh, one of you, hi, okay, so I need you over here, because for some reason I can't just jump up here myself, oh, and of course you just automatically go into the right position, you know? So, why can't I have this thing? Sorry. But... It says F, right? No. Okay, so how do I... F. F. Why won't you let me F? do I need to do? Oh. Oh. I need to F wires. Destruction chaos. City. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. Oh, what were you expecting? <laughs> they had everything: clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Later, who did them? <laughs> the plague. I remember now. No one died. I thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. <laughs> but I could still help you. We can still go outside. I share the memories of humanity and the people I loved. That's the last memory. 100% memory recovered, everyone. You know everything now. I feel amazing. Oh god. <laughs> that. That right there was just a bit creepy, not gonna lie. I feel amazing. Thank you so much for your little present for you. By the way. Oh my god. See? That was totally worth it. That was totally worth it. Look at our new coat thing. It's all pretty now. See, that was totally worth it. And we're one of the few people who got that because everyone now. I don't know why I keep complaining about that. It just bothers me because, you know. 
Like, oh yeah, we're just gonna go through the whole thing, skipping all these things, when this game was about the lore, the experience. The game to find stuff. Discover stuff. The only thing that I would still regret is not finding all the music. And cheats, and getting that last badge. I regret that. Was I gonna jump up down that one? No. Well, you know, one more time, one last time. Oh. It's very, if you think about it, it's very Final Fantasy VII, in a way. With, you know, the whole... How the city is just covered by a giant disc and everything. The under city and all that. Yeah, okay. Try and knock that off. Oh, well. One last time with a certain cat dominance. One last time playing the music. Potential copyrights and all that. Okay, well. I feel compelled to knock these off, just, you know, cat down. These things are in my space. I have claimed this as my space. They do not belong to me anymore. Oh, so who just leaves all these things just lying on terminals and stuff? That doesn't seem safe. Just say. Alright, so. What do we have here? <laughs> this is it, the main computer. Looking <laughs> at the mainframe, no one has been here for years. I would say stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. To say what we should be able to leave the rest of these systems online. Prepare us all the day we need. We need to turn them on. Or you do that, I'll look for passwords and crypto keys to get into the system. Okay, so you're telling me I need to turn on this computer. Okay. I should totally turn on this computer. I'm totally turning on the computer now. Totally. You know. So I figure out how to turn things on. This. This is clearly in the way. I should clearly knock that over. I can't seem to be able to knock this one over. Oh, I'm going to go over here now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do.
system is locked. Oh, that's the worst station open today. So scary for preventing us from using it. Don't do it, really. We do best. Me, I will hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Okay, sure I could do that. But how do I, how do I, how do I get that one? Ah, now I can knock this over, can't I? Yes, I should not push that over. But as we get downhill, and now, I'm going to start clawing at these things. Because yeah. obviously it's not going to electrocute me or anything. Clawing at wires and all that. Might electrocute you. This is some chicken more than I expected. Oh, that's not good. Got to keep going. Forward one for that. That's not the one, but it looks like the one, doesn't it? Like, I'm confused. Because clearly. That's the thing I need to ask this, right? Well, he needs to ask this. So, what am I clawing at? Oh. Oh. Okay. That works. This is probably not going to end well for you, is it? And I'm going to be sad. I think that's it, buddy's done for me. It's okay, I'll be alright, just carry me to the workstation, we can just save that alarm. Well, yeah, this is not gonna, we're gonna, yeah. Cause this isn't gonna end well, is it? That's it. Quick save. Listen, I have something to tell you. I mean, the power of the to the state central control system would be immense, more than the truck from the fire could handle. The state of the state could take control of the system and open the city. The fire could destroy my software. I have to trace my own to the first competitor and the consequences it could bring. Sorry, we won't see the outside to cover. I need to carry onto the memory to manage to hold onto the past. I see the future of the companions and you. Oh shit. Yep, time to panic. Gotta tell my upper competitor not to fucking Windows restart. I don't know he's gonna take my cool jacket that he just turned on. He's gonna take my reward away and it's gonna make me sad.
Yeah, I sort of just like how my other computer is just so slow at doing anything. Like, okay, open up the reschedule thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, train 1, train 2. Yeah, about train 2 just to get to the stupid thing. Okay, so that for like, I don't know, Saturday, whenever. Now fuck off, Windows Restart. You're the, literally the worst thing. I hate Windows Restart. Anyway. No, my colors, my badges. You are my friend. Very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Yep, told you we're gonna feel sad. Going to fail. And you took my reward for finding all those memories away. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna take a cat nap here. That's the city should be open now, right? Oh, well that's gonna take probably as long as a Windows update. If anything happened to the cat, yeah, that would that would have been the worst. But the robot, oh yeah, that still hurts. Cause literally, we spent this entire time working with the robot, saving, the robot, making sure the robot got to it, getting all those memories. How we even got a reward for all those memories, all those badges on the thing, and then in the end. Well, it's gone. I don't want to say you know, that really mattered. Because it mattered. It really mattered. It's just it was taken from us. We're going to just keep it as a keepsake of our journey together. Now the question is, where do we go now? Do we just go out? I can't tell them we just go out. Alright. We just go out. Just go out. No, 
not going to lie, but this is probably where the game's just going to end and go to credits as soon as we reach that point. I mean, that's what I would do. Just have the cat walking off into the distance, and then roll the credits, right? Nope. Again, I was saying. Good. Oh, what was that at the end? Not entirely sure. Maybe lives on in the system? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. That... That was a very good game. I, I had a few issues. Okay, so there's the whole, every time you create it, it pops back up and resets the resolution. That's, man, it's well, not that concerning. The whole, okay, so you, we want you to look at these memories, that are flickering and all the stuff so you can't really tell what you're looking at. Yeah, that's not good on the eyes. Like, in my opinion, you could keep that but have an option for, like, you know. Because there's the thing. A lot of games have to have accessibility options anymore. It's, it's just how it is. Because, you know, seizures and other issues and people not being able to see things or interact with things properly because of how they things are. Yeah, you need to have an accessibility option to turn that stuff off so people can just see it and figure it out without staring at flicker 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 it's not good on the eyes other than that yeah it was pretty solid it felt it felt very much like you were a cat the only problem though is despite feeling like a cat the plot made it feel like yeah you're a bit too smart for a cat like going through all of that Figuring all, all the puzzles and everything. Also, if you those jumps, we should have been able to make. That's great. As a cat, you could probably squeeze through half those bars. Jump higher than that. Also, cats. And the rips. Face, if I didn't look up, I was gonna probably be stuck there for a while. I like how we're giving thanks to PlayStation. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, this is on PC. Why are we having to thank? Why are we thank you, PlayStation? Yeah. To the player? Definitely not. And short credits. Well, it's not a triple A game. It's basically one of those games that got, you know, probably sponsored by Sony. But still. Yeah. I mean, it was a, I would give this game. Probably, I can't give it a 10 out of 10, but I could give it at least maybe a 9 point, 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's almost perfect in my opinion. I know, right? Since when is the game perfect? But still, the 
fact that the platform just felt good, natural. Like, sometimes you end up going up when you want to go down, but let's face it, the whole targeting of space to space is a bit problematic, and that's still creepy. Because, like, you want to go space, but yet you're on the wrong space, which, yeah, a bit problematic. But yeah, I think the only thing really holding this back is probably the memory thing. Because it's a good thing, it's a working mechanic, it's just, if it wasn't flickering enough to, you know, potentially cause harm to people with seizures and with other eye problems, yeah, no, it's not that good for that. But yeah, the platforming was solid. The whole, well, you can't actually hurt yourself by platforming. Because it just stops you. There were some sections where, well, yeah, the whole running. It's like, do, do I hold down the running or am I, I just automatically running? And then happy to switch to jumping and the bat running and all that. Sure, that, it still works. It's a chase sequence. It gives you that whole anxiety stress that uh, you have to do things that you probably don't really have to do. You probably don't have to hold down the run. It's automatically running. But yeah. One thing that does bother me though is what about the upper cats? What about them? Are we going to end up reunited with them or... Yeah, what happened to the upper cats? Because we sort of just end with well, there we are. We made it to the surface alone. Because who knows how long it's going to take for the upper robots to be able to make their way through, <laughs> you know, the sewers and up there and all the way to the surface. Also, yeah, that Balthazar, he just sort of stayed and didn't really have anything to do. What about Doc and Alpers? Like, we seen what happened to Momo. We've seen what happened to Glamatine. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of others. Like, what about, you know, Blazer with his thing? He's just, oh, I'm just in for the money. What's his fate? It's very much one of those games that it's, yeah. Like, there's a bunch of loose ends that aren't very resolved, though. Which... I could say it takes a point away. Great, now we're down to 9.8 out of 10. Because, yeah, there's a bunch of loose ends that just aren't resolved. I'm not sure if they expect to do anything about that, I mean. But they don't need to make a DLC that explains things and us getting back to developer cats or anything like that. I mean, sure. A DLC to get back to level cats would be nice, but it's not necessary, and that's still creepy, you know. Like I don't know. Yeah, I'll give her so 9.8 out of 10. That's probably one of the highest rankings for games I've given. You know, it's just I it really enjoyed it. It's like a mixture of. Puzzle, platformer, horror, relaxation, cat thing. Yeah. Really good. Anyway, so, next time. Stuff that isn't stray, sadly. But yeah, hope you all enjoy, thank you all, and have a nice day.